first day with a new team, your mm -hmm. first time in this room with these people at least. What have the last 36 hours in your life been like? Uh, They've been crazy, uh, but shout out to Pat Bell for uh, – getting that uh, physical done so I could come out here and play with my with my new team. So shout out to him. Uh, but it was fun. Uh, it's been kind of a whirlwind. Got here super late last night. Um, man, met all the guys today. Learned some offense today. Um, it was pretty cool, though. Uh, it's happened before, so I'm kind of used to it. Um, but, man, hey, man, shout out to playing. I feel good. I'm cool. How do you just go about like getting acclimated on the fly and learning teammates' tendencies and finding your own rhythm? Just how do you go about trying to do that? Uh, it's really tough. Um, I, I, I played all right, but um, it's still a lot of things that, man, I got to figure out tendency of other guys. Like, feel like I've been playing with Buddy Hill forever, but I never played with him. But we starting to figure some synergy out today, me and uh, Tobias Harris as well. Um, it's just going to be different for me. I got I to gotta figure out uh, the offense a little bit more, figure out where um, all my guys can strive, um, figure out their spots. Um, I know Kelly like getting to his left, so I got to figure figure out more ways to get him to the left throughout the offense. Um, man, shout out to Nick Nurse too. Uh, he was he was big time uh, with me today, uh, getting me acclimated as well. Yeah. What? So yeah. What are the next steps? As you guys got to play a game against you, <laughs> what do you feel like the next twenty four hours are going to look like? A lot of film. Um, I know tomorrow we're going to watch a lot of film. Um, find out more ways to be aggressive. More ways to get easier baskets, figure out the defense. Um, I'm still learning. Uh, like I said, it's my first day, so it was pretty cool for my first day here. Um, I just want to keep getting better, keep learning the guys, keep learning the offense, keep learning the principles, um, just ready to make this push, ready to make this run. It's a little weird, too, when you get to the team and you know they're missing four starters. And it's kind of you know the, what they've been going through recently. Yeah, it's definitely different, but uh, it's okay, man. We got a lot of good guys in there. Um, we got some guys that's going to fight to the end and um, like me as well. I'm, I'm going to fight. So I, I love the guys, man. We um, we out there playing with a lot of heart. We were down big, but we fought back. Uh, so that's a credit to the guys that's on this team. Uh, but, man, hey, it'll be a big bonus when we get them guys back, though. Nick was complimentary of even the way during the walkthrough today how you already sort of knew some of the offensive mm -hmm. stuff. Is that partially because of being in camp with him in Toronto? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, it was a part of that. And um, Adrian Griffin was our coach, and he coached with uh, Nick Nurse. And they have uh, they had a lot of the same terminology offensively and defensively. Uh, so, like, we were going through walkthrough. I was like, oh, I know this play, though. I know this one. I'll call out a play. He was like, "Oh, you know, you know that play." I'm like, "Yeah." So uh, it's, it's pretty cool that I played under uh, AG and learned some of the uh, terminology uh, that, that Nick Nurse did in uh, Toronto. And like I said, like, well, like you said, I was in Toronto for a little second, so I, I definitely played under him already. So I know a few of the sets and kind of how he likes to play. Even though you didn't play tonight, you. Tyrese Maxey mm -hmm. close over the last few years this season risen into sort of the star that he is now. Mm -hmm. um, what are your impressions of him and, and what excites you about being his team? Uh, I thought I was terrible. Like I thought I was fast. He way faster than me. Uh, he knows how to get he knows how to get downhill at a elite level. Uh, shout out to his first all star. Uh, he gonna kill it. I know he's gonna kill it. Man, he was actually the first guy to text me though. Uh, and that's big time. Uh, he does. He does a great job getting everybody involved. But he knows how to score at an elite level. He knows how to get knows how to get downhill at an elite level. And uh, man, he's smiling all the time. I love that about him. Um, I, I I think we need more of that in the locker room. I think we need a little bit more energy. Um, and I'm down to bring it. Um, but like I said, he was the first guy to hit me. Uh, we text a little bit. Uh, so I mean, he he big time. He turned into a vet real quick the point of being in this atmosphere for the, the first time when you hit that three that cut mm -hmm. into like six or seven or whatever it was just how did that moment feel? <laughs> hey I thought he was about to win that game I thought he was about to win that game I started feeling it um man it was it was great atmosphere tonight it was great atmosphere I'm glad we fought back for the fans even even for ourselves man I'm, I'm glad I'm glad we gave it gave it all the way to the end of the game um wish it would have came out with a W but Man, I love when the fans rocking with me, man. I feel like that's when I play my best, so shout out to the Sixers fans.
given given you guys didn't have much time to work together and you get down, it would have been easy to say, okay, well, just pack it up. But mm-hmm. as a unit, you guys able to kind of pick it up in the second half. Just yeah. be able to find that whatever it was you found, guys found. To, to make a game with this. It's, it's crazy, man. We came to the locker room like, man, come on. Let's have a little fun. Let's have a little fun. Uh, uh, Atlanta did a big a, a, a big time job pushing in transition. In the second half, we cut a lot of those transition points out. Uh, that was a big key to the game for us. Uh, in the second half, we started getting more stops. Uh, they were crashing the glass. We started limiting them to one shot. Uh, that's kind of how we got back in the game. A lot of grit. A lot of grit is how we got back into this one. Um, and then, man, we was playing together. We was playing together. That ball was moving, man. Everybody, everybody did their thing to me. Uh, we just got to cut, cut some of them transition points out in that first half, and would have gave us a better opportunity at the end. Thank you. Appreciate it.